Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect an Xbox Series S controller to your iPad Pro. So on the iPad Pro itself, I want you to open up the settings app, and then I want you to tap into Bluetooth, and make sure Bluetooth is turned on, and you see here, now discoverable as, and in the name of your iPad Pro. Once you're here, for the sake of this video, I'm going to forget my controller, and we're going to pair it. Alright, so in order to pair, you want to turn on the controller, like so, it may turn on your Xbox console at the same time. Then, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to see at the top this button. You're going to hold it down until the Xbox LED starts blinking. If you turned on the controller and the LED is already blinking, just hold it down again regardless. So let's hold it down. Once we see the blinking, we just want to wait for the controller to show up. So it showed up right away for me. We're going to tap into it and we'll see whether or not it uh, pairs. So you can see Bluetooth pairing request. Let's tap on pair. And I don't think I tapped on pair. I think I misstapped and there you go you can see the controller is connected now this doesn't always work perfectly 100% of the time so if you're having issues where if you tap on the controller it will show connected and then it will unpair from the uh, iPad Pro right away or you're just having issues with the controller showing up here what are you going to do turn off Bluetooth wait five seconds turn back on Bluetooth and then run things through again if that still doesn't work what are you going to do let's turn on the controller again Hold the Xbox button until the controller itself turns off. So just keep on holding. And there you go, you can see the controller is now turned off. Restart your iPad Pro and then do everything again. And then that should solve the issue. Now, if that still doesn't work, I want you to open up the settings app, head over to general, software update, and just upgrade to the latest version of iPadOS. Maybe your current version of iPadOS broke the uh, pairing with the controller all your firmware is too old to pair with a controller. And if that's the case, just upgrade to the latest version of iPadOS. Of course, if you were able to pair on the existing version of iPadOS, then of course you don't need to upgrade. All right, so when you're uh, on the um, uh, home screen and you pair the controller, you can use the analog stick to see, you can see, it allows me to control uh, the, uh, the home screen here. And what we're gonna do is we'll just load up the game to just show this works. So let's load up Minecraft. Um, not all games do support the controller, that is one important thing to keep in mind. So let's say PUBG does not support the controller, but a good example is Minecraft, so you can see. The pad, fully working, back, play, RB, LB, all fully working, so the controller is connected and working without fail. So that's all there is to it, thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye bye.